Hey, welcome back again, you too, in the whole world, for another installment of Collecticon Action Figure Review. And today we're going to be reviewing G.I. Joe. That's right, the Retaliation 3 pack. Now, guys, nothing special here in terms of new release figures. I mean, let's face it, this Snake Eyes, let's zoom in on him got some heavy gear on there really cool stuff ninja web gear with some sights but it's nothing more than look at the just a rehash of this snake eyes just with a smaller Hiroshikage emblem but that's not why I bought this stuff um the mouse figure crash helmet booyah Nice little Robocop-esque vest there. Bulletproof vest there, body armor. Tactical shotgun. Beautiful, just standard khaki fatigue. But we're going to do some modifications, guys. If you're into army building, here's some micro Uzis that came with Snake Eyes there. As well as the claws and the... What do we got here? It's katanas. That are removable. I'm doing this one hand, guys, so bear with me. We got one. And let's see. Come on, guys. Let's do this. One and two. So we have a long katana and a short katana. But, like I said, and then we have this. Hasbro, I thought I talked to you guys about this. Unacceptable. No more of those fluorescent weapons. Remember what happened in the 90s, man. You guys almost killed the line. Come on, Asbro. You guys, I know you're watching. All right. And then now this. An awesome figure. But I'm not really digging the paint scheme overall. Yes, the helmet is removable. Yeah, I mean, he's got the standard Halo gear. I do like that. He's also got the personal, um, the PSD. Personal defense, or PSW. The personal defense weapon there. But let's look at... The figure itself. Turn them around a bit for you guys. This is Sergeant Airborne. We got the flotation device there in the back. That's pretty cool. As well as his oxygen mask and helmet. All oh, that's got to be painted. That's right. I'm. I bought this just to customize, guys. So, but look at that. That could get really nasty in the hands of a guy with a paintbrush. So we're going to have some fun with that figure. You're going to watch what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to army build the hell out of this one. So, um, like I said, not really in, super impressed with the line as is. I'll have to be honest with you guys. And all this stuff is removable. All the web gear, all the vest. Uh, if you buy these figures, it comes with instructions on how to remove all that stuff. But, and then it came with this. This is for kids. You know, not to knock it. If there's any kids watching... When I was a kid, there was nothing more fun than a rappel line, but I kind of make my own, so this will probably be used. I'll throw it in my fodder box and use it for display making or something. But what I really wanted to um, accent in this review, guys, is the fact that if you are a customizer, go pick these figures up. And if you don't have them and you like what you see, definitely go pick these figures up. But... Um, I'm going to show you guys a different way of approaching uh, figures like this. For instance, if you get, you get a box set like this where you're not really digging what you have in hand, then change it, man. Grab the paintbrush and have some fun. So this is going to be a two-part, two-part review. That's right. Check out part two because you're going to get a chance to see what I do with you. And you, and you, and I think it's going to be fun, guys, so we're going to see what happens, so real quick, I know I ran through this one kind of fast, but let's look at these guys one last time, and this is more or less just to show you guys, uh, this is not one of those reviews where I'm like saying, go buy the guy because he's really great, or, you know, don't buy the guys because they suck, this is more about um, this is more for you army builders out there, you know, I'm an army builder, I know a lot of you other guys are army builders, I'm going to show you guys some alternative methods 
in part two of approaching figures like this where you have a dozen snake eyes. Uh, you guys saw that I created a SEAL Team 6. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Using This is a base figure for the majority of the team members. I'm going to do something really cool with this mouse here. Uh, I, I'm floating around some ideas. Definitely going to do something about this crash helmet. That's a little lazy Hasbro. And... I'm just gonna really come up with some cool ideas. So enough talk. Goes guy, you know, guys, go check out the next video. And this goes without saying, we're gonna have some fun here. So check out the next video, and you're gonna see how I approach creating the figures that I really want out of these nice, beautifully stocked bodies from the G.I. Joe Retaliation set. And I, you know, I'm not excited about the movie coming out, but I'm definitely digging the fact that we're getting new figures because um, it's always great, when, especially when you're a customizer, to be able to get your hands on some decent body sculpts and head sculpts to really play around and create some awesome variations of just... You know, G.I. Joe characters or tactical fictional characters, whatever you want to do. So, enough talk, guys. Until next time, keep collecting, start painting. I, like I said, I know this wasn't the most comprehensive review, but when you see part two, you'll understand I did it for you. So, that's it, guys. I'm out. Move along, there's nothing to see here.